So hello everyone. Today I want to conduct a multiple regression with the data uh, that is about the depression. You can see the uh, variable and that is influenced by many different factors. So criterion variable will be depression and then others independent variable will be the different sources here. So it can be emotional balance, physical health, and uh, economic resources and trusting others. There are many different factors. So uh, compared to the other uh, analysis, the hypothesis will be different. It's not they have a significant difference or the relationship, but this time will be uh, which factor will uh, have an influence on the depression. So your research question will be a bit different. So you want to find which factors are influencing uh, components to uh, mobilize the depression. So first we have to have a, a assumption uh, to uh, make sure your assumption is met. So that means that we have to go to analyze and then uh, descriptive and uh, explore. And uh, your criterion variable that is dependent variable is the depression. So depression uh, here, and then you put in a dependent list. And then you can go to the statistics and that is okay, default and the plot. Instead of stumps and leaf, you put the histogram, normality plot, okay? And then you can do okay. So the output generates the uh, normality of the, your depression variable. So you can see here, in fact, the uh, skewness and the kurtosis. You can uh, uh, evaluate the uh, uh, amount of skewness and the kurtosis. Normally, this uh, number should not be the uh, uh, twice of the, your standard error. So here, uh, that normality uh, test shows the significance. This means this is not normally distributed. So be cautious of this. Then when you double click and then you can draw the uh, line of the normality line is here. So and go back to your output. So you have, uh, that means it's a bit skewed, but the line is uh, quite normal. And then uh, you can see the lines are a bit uh, far away from the, uh, the, the, the model line. And then that is the uh, also the same thing like a QQ plot with the, uh, the other uh, plot. Is they are going together. And then you have see you can see uh, that there is no extreme outliers. So there are some outliers, but they are not, not extreme. When they are extreme, it's, this will be shown as an asterisk. Okay, so uh, we can uh, consider this is normally distributed because of the many uh, signs are not uh, too much uh, violation. So we can uh, conduct the multiple regression with the GC criterion variable. So when you go to uh, the analyze here, there are two options going to the uh, regression, but we can go to uh, also the uh, general linear model and the univariate. So as you wish, but I will go today for the regression. So regression and the linear, and then dependent variable, you can put the depression here. And then factors are independent, you can put, the, for instance, emotional balance and the physical health and the economic resources. They are all continuous variables. For regression test, we use only continuous variables, not like a gender and a uh, home that is a nominal or a categorical variable, so we cannot use. If we want to categorical variables for the independent variables, you have to recode that as a dichotomous dummy variable, that means uh, zero and one. So in that case, you can use uh, those uh, categorical variables as a continuous variable. But this time, we will use already the continuous variable. And the method, you will put that as a stepwise, this means that the machine will calculate automatically if uh, the variable is not uh, significant for influencing the depression, they will remove automatically. So this is a good one. So we will go with that. And then statistics, you have the estimate, model fit, r square changes. So we will see how much variances are contributed and the coordinate diagnostics. So, okay. And the plot. You will put the prediction in the X and then residual is Y. <clears throat> we need a histogram and normality probability plot for the uh, normality of residuals. And the save, you will go that uh, unstandardized. Uh, and then also we need the prediction intervals, individuals. 
So they will predict their individual scores with the confidential interval of 95%. So continue. And then options. Yeah, that is okay. That is a default. So we can go okay. And the uh, output will generate the mini tables. So you can verify here method was stepwise. So this means that they erase uh, automatically when the uh, variable is not significant. So here you can see the regression. There is only one emotional balance. So which means that the other variables were not significant to mobilize the depression. So that was the only the emotional balance was chosen. So emotional balance with the ANOVA table, you can see the F value and the significance. This means it is a significant uh, factor to influence the depression. So the, uh, here uh, you can see in the model summary, what is important is the R value. That is the uh, square, when they squared, that becomes the variance. So the emotional balance that uh, influenced the depression about 26%. Uh, to uh, show why depression is coming. The reason can be emotional balance is 26%. Okay, and then here you are another table significant, and then your coefficient that you need to write your equation. So the constant will be 44.81 plus, and then emotional balance is minus 1.06. And then that is about the emotional balance. So you will need this table uh, to write the uh, your equation. And you can see here standardized coefficient beta is minus 0 0.410. That is the same uh, number with the R. Uh, before R squared is R value. So be careful with the, they are in the same value with R and then a standardized beta. And the multicolonality, uh, they, show, they are showing also a coefficient. So this shows that um, they are uh, in the tolerance is 1.0. So uh, that is the uh, good tolerance of the uh, of multi coronality doesn't exist because you have anyway one uh, variable. So in fact, the, this is meaningless to see the coronality problem. When you will have the more than two uh, factors, independent variable, and then you can uh, check this. But for the moment, you don't have to check. Okay, and then uh, exclude the variables. They are physical health and economic. Why they are excluded? Because they are not influencing the significantly the uh, depression. So they are ex showing the excluded. Okay, so here this is about the um, assumption of the rigid, uh, normality of residuals. They are showing they are uh, uh, not uh, exactly, but they are close to the line. And then, yeah, that's it. Okay, so this is about the multiple regression and with the method of stepwise. Thank you.